everybody. Welcome to the middle of nowhere. Can't tell? CSX Transportation, Winston Yard Complex, and all we see is a scary sign which says no trespassing. Over there. Do not enter, not through road. But yeah, we're not gonna go through there, but we're gonna go see if we can find some trains. Okay, we're somewhere else now. Uh, down there, I believe it's Winston Yard. There's an engine that's running. If I can see a headlight down there. Look at this crossing over here. It still has a school bell on it. <laughs> it's weird because the crossing over here has its e-bell. You can tell up at the top. You see the little thing that looks like a gray cylinder with holes in it? That's an e-bell. But this one over here still has its, well, it looks like an original on it. Well, we're out here. We have red signals that way. Uh, I can hear that old that box there humming. So, we found train tracks at least. <laughs> oh, somewhere different again. Not having much luck today. Bad. It's too bad because it's been a really nice uh, day out here. We all know this place, I've been here before. Unfortunately, the Amtrak train is two hours late, I pro and I really don't want to stick around for it. However, this is where I'll be leaving from in July. Let's try a video from... Oh, wait, I do. I have a video from here a couple months back? No, not months. Weeks, weeks. Hasn't been that long yet. This is Winter Haven. It used to be a lot more, well, important because it, cause it serves uh, Legoland, which used to be Cypress Gardens. And that was Florida's basically number one tourist attraction until Disney came into existence. So you would have travelers coming down from up north on the Silver Meteor or the uh, Silver Star, and they would get off here to go to Cypress Gardens. And... I can't remember which one ran through the seaboard of the Atlantic coastline, but they lapped up the business. This station, for a small town little station, is still here, too. And it's, it has that 50s aesthetic, you can tell with the um, platform can canopy. Unfortunately, I don't think we're really going to be seeing much today. I guess we're just chasing grade. Down here, there's actually a spur line that goes off, going off that way, which is the Florida Central Railroad. Um, it runs down here and goes uh, somewhere. Can't really remember where, but they have an interchange point here with CSX. Really isn't all that much to film today, unfortunately. There's no locals today because it's Saturday. Pull that spike out there. No, 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 no. <laughs> but uh, thank you for watching this unfortunately short and not really entertaining video of me attempting to film trains. Oof. It's a pity though. Let's actually move somewhere else. Maybe I could. There's something down the way a little bit. Okay, we've moved a little bit. And on the other side of the Amtrak Depot. This is the Florida Central end. This is some, I think it's a little house track here. Um, across the way are some tankers here. I'm the camera. There's some tankers over there. There's the Amtrak Depot. Yeah, don't really swarm this place, it's kind of small. <laughs> Yeah. So CSX is right there, and Florida Central has trackage rights here for switching out cars with, uh, C with the CSX. So yeah, okay, here's a little bit more <laughs> content, trying to make content. Unfortunately, I think the channel's gonna go on a little bit of a hiatus, maybe a little bit of a slowdown of content, because it's getting hot. I can't really go in the attic because it's a million
million degrees. Soon we're gonna redo it so we're gonna have it all new. And we're gonna have, um, well, insulation and an air conditioner. So I'll be able to make videos from there. Um, and of course, I made the announcement a couple videos ago about how we're going up to Pennsylvania for a trip. And we're gonna go C611. We're gonna we actually leave from here. I think I've mentioned that already, but we're gonna leave from here. And that'll probably be the return to rail fan content if I don't go back up to Plant City in the next couple of weeks, which I probably will. Um, I also maybe plan on going up to Dade City in the next couple of weeks too. So I do have plans, but we might be a little bit fewer and far between on the videos. And I don't think there's gonna be many uh, two upload a week, so um, probably until Christmas time. But that's all for me today. Thank you for watching this interesting video, I'm hoping. Quotation marks, interesting. Uh, thank you. I don't really know what else to say. Goodbye. Seems that like our final little adventure isn't over yet. Just notice this, uh, this is the Dundee, uh, museum. They, uh, have, a. Uh, they were open today. Uh, fancy stuff. All these places are open. At least the last couple times I've been here. Got some stuff. Not the uh, area. Hmm. This must be from here. I'm unloading the uh, uh, stuff off a of baggage car. This must have been like express freight. That's cool. Came to name boy. That's old Pensy stuff there. That's really cool. <laughs> Didn't expect to see Pensy stuff all the way down here. Got some models to display. Let's see anything I have? <laughs> hmm. Interested in here? It's outside. An air conditioner running. Now this is cool. I've not been in an extended vision cooler. I've seen these. I've not been in one. There's a creepy man in here. This was like the end of the caboose. This was like the last one made. Or like the last like variant. Ooh, chessy. <laughs> That's actually really cool. But this was like a, in the latter years of the caboose, like you could tell they stopped using wood and more of the steel. Track wrench, I think. Right here. That's cool. <laughs> Let's see, where are you from? Oh, I can't really read that. Fertilizer business unit, CSX transportation. Yeah, you can tell this is fancy, you know, this was in the days of actual health and safety. The caboose in Lake Wales it doesn't have nice tread, it has bars going up into the top. And these cabooses were designed to be a mix of the bay window type caboose and a cupola caboose. Look, this is your windshield wiper, normally that would be applied to it. Dang, this chair's comfortable. Almost wish I was going somewhere in this. Um, yeah. This is nice. Fully equipped FRA part 223 glazing. Huh. Yeah, you even got a footrest there for your train crew. Oh, this is a nice little bonus here for you all. Ooh, okay, go down the other way, yeah. Got to go down the way the uh, FRA says so. Ah, this is kind of hard one handed. <laughs> oh, that's a lot less of a drop than I thought. It will go up on the other side. <laughs> this thing. <laughs> 
almost, almost fell a little bit there. But yeah, I got a, uh, here's the other side. This is the only little piece of railroad track in this town, un unfortunately. Well, there you go, that's how the uh, windshield wiper would work. I don't believe it opened up the window. If I can get it. Oh, there we go. See? You even have this up here. Which is just sort of a lock, I think. So when it comes back. So it doesn't uh, shut all the way. 